So, hey everyone. Um, I got this book a while ago from HarperCollins. I haven't yet done a review. I was and am still intending to colour an image in this book as part of this review, but I decided to at least do a bit of a flip through of the book today so people can see what it looks like and if it's something they want. I have found it doesn't contain much in the way of beasts. It's more cityscapes, people, um, those types of things. And I don't have an understanding of who the people are or what they are because I have not seen the movie. I have not <laughs> read anything about this story. So it's all kind of very vague to me. I know it's based around before Harry Potter but that's basically all I know. <laughs> um, this book was provided to me by HarperCollins Australia and I have found if you, which I don't have it, but if you want one that's more the beasts, there seems to be a separate book that's been published that has a purple cover that seems to be the one with the beasts. So, just so you've got knowledge there, as for, yeah, this book I have found, as you'll see when we go through it, there is, well, some inspiration images from the movie, but you've also got the images do go right into the spine, and this book does tend to sorry, try and um, flip itself back over as I'm doing this flip through. So it's kind of hard to keep it stay open unless you're constantly holding that side. At least that's what I've found. Maybe it gets better as you do more with it or do more in it. But yeah, so I'm um, going to cho probably choose one of these images to colour out of the book as the rest of this flip through. But I just thought I'd do a bit of talk about this in a review. The paper seems to be fairly medium weight. It seems to be decent. It's more of a white paper than an ivory or cream sort of coloured paper or even off-white. It seems to be quite white. It may look a bit yellow because the lighting in this room is kind of a bit yellow. But otherwise it feels really decent quality, decent paper. And I can, I think I can feel a bit of a tooth on it. I'm not sure. But as you tell, there is a lot of landscapes. There is, some do have little details, others don't have many little details but they go right into the spine and there's a lot of two page spreads in this book or seems to be quite a few two page spreads so I'll probably just pick out a one page spread for the colour along from this book when I do it Another two page spread. I also find this interesting. I'm guessing this is fog or something. That's why they've got the faded details so you can do light colours, light tones of those colours in this and then have the fog going over it. That's a guess. I'm not totally sure. I'm not sure what any of these pictures are based around or who they are because, as said, I have not seen the movie, so. And I don't know anything about it other than it's said that it's before Harry Potter, based before Harry Potter. I do kind of wish there was more animals in it, though, rather than it being all people and cityscapes. But that's just me. I'll 
probably just do something like this or something for the, the colour along in this book but I'm not, not sure I'll work it out at the time and decide it'll probably just be a solo page thing but kind of my favourites right now are the wallpapers kind of thing that you get in here and these types of images I actually like those types of images too but there's a few that I'm sort of not quite as keen on that I wish would have been animals or something instead maybe I would have liked it a lot maybe I'll like it a lot more when I eventually see the movie one day who knows but I do wish there were some animals or whatever in the in here there's another two page spread as you can see the details go right into the spine which is going to make it hard to color the middle of his clothes and that I do like though how they've got where you've got the light effects coming from or shadows that's where all these little detail bits are the lights or the shadows I just swapped my other hand to do the next, do the rest of them. But yes. I thought I'd request this because I thought. I actually hadn't seen a flip through of it beforehand. I saw the actually saw the purple book as the flip through and that was the cover they had on the Harper Collins site, so I kinda thought that was what this one was, but it wasn't, so I'm kinda not sure if I'd seen this in the shop, it's probably honestly for me. It might have been one that I actually put back down and left just because it's sort of, whilst I love fantasy and Harry Potter and all those sorts of things, it sort of doesn't feel quite as much up my alley of what I really do like to see in these colouring books. Like there's some images I like, but a lot it's sort of, I guess for me honestly it's not normally what I would choose but then at the same time I haven't seen the movie so who knows if I'd like it more if I had seen the movie because I don't understand anything that's going on in these images but I'm guessing they're all taken from the movie I am. I actually don't mind this image. Quite like that one with the detail. Things scattered everywhere. Same for this one. But I definitely think this book could grow on me as I coloured it or did stuff with it. I do. As of right now though, it's not not my favourite, but it's not something that I really dislike either. But it's not something that I would particularly choose to buy either. Just because it doesn't have a lot of what I like in there. But then I tend to be quite picky with the books I buy too and buy books with a ton of details. Which 
this has quite a few details but not as many as I like sometimes it seems to be a repeating thing so I'm not sure if that means that that was just where they didn't have an image to go in or what some of these wallpapers do I do look forward to testing out one of these images and colouring them anyway and just seeing what I think of it as I colour the image. I do like this. I would have liked to have seen a lot more of these things but with a lot more detail in this image because the dragons and stuff are the things that I was really hoping to see in this book and a lot more fantasy which I guess is why I'm disappointed because it's mostly city and cityscapes and people and stuff like that. I was kind of hoping magical beasts would be more I guess magical creatures rather than people and stuff from the movie. But yes, you're ending with more inspiration images and then here's the back. And then here. Leave it at that. I hope this helps if you are thinking about getting this book or any of that. Um, and I guess I'll talk to you later and I really hope it helps if you are trying to decide whether or not to get this book. If you like people and cityscapes and that a lot, like whilst I do like those things, I would have liked more magical creatures in it. Or if you're hoping for the magical creatures, I would recommend looking out for the purpley covered one. So, either way, I guess it depends on what you like, or if you really like the movie, then you could get both types. And have a mix of both. Whilst me, I don't mind it. But it's just probably not what I would choose to buy myself in real life. And that's just my honest opinion. Anyway, I hope this helps and I'll talk to you later. Bye.